Hey Scorpio and welcome to your monthly forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading for love, money, and career for October 2020. So let's get started. I'm going to pull an Ascended Masters card. I'm going to pull a love card and I'll do a spread for you. By the way, thank you, thank you, thank you for liking and subscribing. And since this is a general reading, if it resonates with you, please feel free to add a comment below. Also, giving away a free reading, we're going to be announcing the winner the 15th of October. So look below the video for instructions on how you can enter. All right. So for those of you who are guided to this, you know that uh, I have my spirit guides here and some of you your guides are coming in for those of you who find this video. All right, somebody's guides in here. I see a loss, um, a breakup, an ending, but a quick new beginning. So that's good. All right. Shuffle these up and we'll just grab piles. Spirit for Scorpio for October. Okay, Let's see what we got here. All right, here's our ending. Yep, okay. So, I'm getting the message from Spirit. We had a recent loss. Um, could be in relationship or, or uh, in career. But you're getting your house in order, so to speak. Okay, let me grab the rest of this. Okay. Make sure you guys can see all these cards. All right, Spirit, I'm gonna grab a couple of clarify clarifiers for this. Okay, one more. Okay, great. Excellent. All right. So let's see the overall love card that we do have. So in the love in the love area, it says let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support of others. And in this reading, I think it, it, it really applies to both love and career. Okay. And the overall flavor is to meditate. So that's from one of the Buddhas. All right. So what I'm seeing here is in the recent past or maybe early to the beginning, first week or so of October, I see the possibility of an ending, but it's really about this transformation, okay, endings, new beginnings, transforming, transitioning from one to the other. Um, oh, okay, one of the guides is saying that you're also leaving a place and going to a new place uh, that's going to provide you with more opportunity. Okay, so the, the one thing I'm getting from Spirit here is that because death is in reverse, this transition, this transformation, uh, the universe is kind of having to drag you kicking and screaming, which means um, there's, it's how you're handling it, the tension, the anxiety about this, and uh, you really don't have to worry too much. I mean, the emperor brings order, partnership and structure, and, oh my gosh, you know, this Eight of Wands is one of the most positive cards in the deck. Um, you know, it's, it's, you've been waiting for answers. Um, you feel like you've been stuck, but this is about progress. This is, um, 
you know, this, your projects will not have wings, you know. Um, yeah, the possibility of, of, of a, a great love coming in here. Also, I mean, it's adjacent to the, the Ten of Pentacles, which is about wealth and love and inheritance. So some of you might be gaining something through someone in the family. It doesn't have to mean inheritance in the sense that someone has passed, but, um, but, it, but someone's going to be giving you something. Um, which is going to really help you out. You know, as we move over uh, to more the middle of the month, temperance, new levels of trust in existing relationships, uh, but Spirit's asking you to be diplomatic. Uh, diplomacy is key here in work and, li and, and in life. There's a lot of tension in... Um, the current world right now, don't be part of it. Now, the Knight of Cups talks about action starting, possibility of, of new love, new opportunities. Um, but it's really all about you making a decision and finding the balance. You have the opportunity to make a decision. What, what I'm getting here from the, this is why I pulled four cards, the Hermit in Reverse is about rigid thinking, you know, um, which is keeping you from moving forward. Um, understandably, um, there are delays. Uh, there are, you've been hanging out, so to speak. And you really have the opportunity to revisit what is keeping you in that negative emotional state. Uh, rediscovering the playfulness that you once had, um, as, as we all have uh, had as children. Find that inner child. Find something that gives you a little bit of joy. Go, go have some fun. Um, socially, responsibly, of course. But go have some fun, and that will call in all the deliciousness that you have in that, that opening that door of opportunity as you move forward and release a lot of the crap that's been stuck, you know? Um, so one way to release is to meditate, okay? Go on YouTube and find a meditation, uh, uh, some, some meditation on YouTube and just be calm. The, you will be one of the very few people at right now in the world that is calm. And we want you to, um, spirit wants you to move forward and open that door. Okay, guys? Hey, I appreciate all that have watched this video. Thank you, thank you again for liking and subscribing and support the new channel. And have a great month, Scorpio.